Welcome to Home Farm. Today we're going to discuss how we're going to improve the health of our home sewage treatment plant. It's been four months since we've had our tank emptied and we've noticed that the sludge layer has been building up at an unusually quick rate. When we spoke to the experts, they said there were any number of factors that could have been contributing towards this, but it was likely that the increased usage of anti-back products during the COVID-19 pandemic could have been the reason. Our home sewer treatment plant is located on the driveway. We're gonna walk across now. I'm gonna take the lid off, show you inside. So keep watching to see how we treat our tank. As you can hopefully hear, our home sewage treatment plant is working, but before we pop the lid, I'd just like to discuss why the sludge layer actually forms inside your tank. Every time you flush your toilet or something goes down your drain, it ends up inside the tank. When it's in there, there's a lot of positive bacteria that breaks it down into carbon and water. To my understanding, fats and oils that end up in the tank mix with the general waste that's in there and that contributes to the formation of the sludge layer and the crust. In a healthy tank, it's the beneficial bacteria that then works on that sludge layer, breaking it down so it doesn't form as quickly. So when you start introducing a lot of antibacterial product to the tank, those bacteria levels drop and your sludge layer grows. So today, we're gonna to be adding this environmentally friendly product to our tank. It's called Muck Munchers, and it's gonna boost the bacteria levels inside our home sewage treatment plant. Before we add this product to our tank, we're gonna take the lid off and we're gonna show you a before shot of what the tank looks like. If you're at all queasy or don't want to look inside our tank, please just fast forward a little bit. Uh, we will then go back inside the house where I'll talk a little bit more about this product where it's gonna be quieter. I've got my gloves and mask on. Um, even though I don't really need the mask, I'm gonna put it on anyway, just as an additional health and safety precaution. This is the sludge layer that I was referring to earlier. This is what we need to start breaking down. We've also started to get sludge forming in our main aerobic chamber. And that's happened because the sludge return pipe has blocked up too. So we're really hoping that the bacteria, once they start operating, uh, will be able to consume and work their way through that, restoring the health of our tank. We're back inside the house in our master bathroom and we're going to now start by adding the BioBoost to our toilet. What makes this product effective is that it's got four specialist strains of bacteria in it that will start to break down the organic matter inside your tank. So they'll break down fats and oils, cellulose, which is basically your toilet paper, and things like sugars and starch. As for the instructions, we're going to enter the contents of this BioBooster in our toilet leave it for 10 minutes to dissolve, and then we're gonna flush it. When we flush it, the bacteria are gonna make their way through our drain pipes to the tank, colonizing the pipes in the process, starting to break down the fats and residue that's there. The BioBooster contains 300 billion beneficial bacteria, and when you flush it, it's gonna take about two days for them to activate. I'm really glad that we've got the BioBoost, because when I said that I didn't need the mask, uh, I really did. The tank is supposed to have an earthy smell to it, but it actually stank. So we clearly do need the 300 billion bacteria to supercharge our tank and bring it back to a healthy state. So we've got the BioBoost, which is going to kickstart the recovery of our tank. This is our 12 month course of muck munches. They come in the form of soluble sachets. You basically put those in the toilet, flush once a month, and that should keep the tank balanced and healthy. Today we're going to flush the BioBooster down this toilet. In subsequent months, we're going to flush these sachets in different toilets around the house. 
The reason for that is because all the toilets have got their own pipes and they're all converged together at the tank. We want to ensure that all of those pipes are colonized with the bacteria. As the bacteria colonizes those pipes, it'll prevent any blockages and buildup in them. Let's open the kick booster pack. basically one large sachet. It's really simple now, all we've got to do is take the sachet, drop it in the toilet. It's only been in the toilet for 30 seconds and it's beginning to frop and bubble and activate. While we wait for the sachet upstairs to dissolve, there are a number of things that we've done to help improve the health of our tank. For starters, we've reduced the amount of fats and oils that we use in our cooking. We no longer deep fry. And if we shallow fry something, we wipe the pan down with a kitchen towel, throw it away so that we limit the amount of fats and oils that are ending up in our tank. It's the fat, oil and grease that mixes and combines with all the other waste in the tank that creates the muddy sludge layer, which the bacteria has the hardest time breaking down. In order to maintain the highest concentration levels of good bacteria in our tank, we limit the use of antibacterial products and we've completely stopped using harsh chemicals and detergents. One of the biggest offenders is using bleach to clean your toilet. There are septic tank friendly products on the market. Uh, if you don't have access to those, you can continue to use your supermarket purchased bleach. Uh, simply keep the toilet lid open, allow the chlorine to evaporate because it's the chlorine when it gets into your tank that kills the bacteria. Obviously, the chlorine is now airborne, so make sure that you open a window to ventilate your bathroom. There are many do's and don'ts for home sewage treatment plants and septic tanks, and we've provided a link below that provides you with an extensive list of things that you can and can't do. Before we go back upstairs and check on the sachet, we would like to thank Muck Munches for running a competition with us. All of the details have been provided below, and if you enter, we wish you the best of luck. Right, so it's been 15 minutes. We're going to see what's happening inside. Right, so all of the water has been absorbed by the sachet. There's a little bit of water that's still left at the bottom. Uh, there is a bit of a smell coming through because obviously the water level has dropped in the toilet. So we're probably just getting some residual smells coming from the tank. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to flush the toilet. We'll be giving you regular updates with regards to how this works. We're expecting to see results in about one to two months time. Uh, and by the results, we mean that the actual sludge layer should start to drop and the tank should start returning to a more healthy state. As I said earlier, it'll take about two days for the bacteria to activate and these natural environmentally friendly bacteria will start to eat their way through the sludge that's in the tank, hence the name muck munches. We would like to thank Biogard for gifting the starter kit and 12 month pack to us. This will allow us to use it for a full year and see how it affects the overall health of our tank. We're planning to do an update video in a couple of months time. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.